Yo guys, what is going on? Tax here with another Lost Ark video. Today we are going to be looking over the newly released April and May roadmap for what they are going to be releasing in these next upcoming months. Let's see. In March, they joined us. They're in their Seattle studio to look at the roadmap. So it looks like this is basically them saying that this is the first roadmap that Smilegate has been being a part of. Perfect. So new materials to help with honing chances that can be in two events: the Guardian Raid and the Arcadian Grand Prix. Yep. Yeah. So April seems there is a new martial artist advanced class, the, the Glavier. Which looks to be like a, some sort of like a spear dancer, or a spear, a spear class. Practicing an artistic and deadly form of martial arts, the Glavier slices and dices her way through the battlefield, weaving through, weaving together attacks with her spear and glaive. They have two distinct skill sets, which can be swapped between focus and flurry. So it seemed like this would be like a uh, a DPS, more of a precise, and then this is more of like an AOE. Interesting. So with each stance and skill set represented by one or two weapons, the shorter oh the shorter spear is really used to unleash a furious barrage in the flurry stance, while the longer glaive harnesses focus stance and gradually gracefully. Lethal strikes and sweeping attacks. While certain builds may focus your attention on to one of these weapons, an effective glavier can maximize the potential by creating balance between the two stances. Building up energy in one stance, which creates an impactful stat boost when swapping to the other. Interesting, interesting, interesting. That's five martial arts class now. Ooh, new continent. It looks like South Vern is getting an opening. Borrow different technologies from different races. Looks about abundant waters and green pastures. Rumors of the dangers plagued North Vern. The Senate shut South Vern down and formed a new knightly order. Something. Queen of Vern ordered Knight Commander Veal to investigate what could be happening on this peaceful continent. Ooh. So it's the second tier three island. Continent, sorry. 1340 gets you in. Interesting, interesting thing. Not the only things. Um, in game events, skins, store updates, a power pass. Ooh. Um, wait. Power pass to Phaeton Idol level 960. Okay, and there's going to be some quality of life, improved co-op, party play for secret maps. Oh, everybody can use a map. Nice. Chat tab settings are shared across a player's roster. That is great. An improved book of coordination settings. Nice. Okay, let's see what they got from May. They promise to be honest, sometimes brutally so, and now is one of those times. While we can say that we firmly plan on releasing the Destroyer Advanced Class, Trial Guardian Raids, and Quality of Life Adjustments in May, Bolton's Legion Raid, and Descaluda will be moved if we feel these activities will create pressure within the community. Eventually, endgame content will be introduced. The players should feel comfortable to continue progressing at their own pace. Our data has suggested that a big enough proportion of our active players will reach or be close to reaching the item levels needed to participate in higher level end game content by May. Our goal is to provide fun content for players, even if it's at a higher level, while never making players feel pressured that they need to pay to keep up. 
We will continue monitoring player feedback and data and provide updates when we're able to when we're able as we strive to remain transparent in our communication and decision making. Appreciate the support and feedback. Okay. New warrior advanced class, destroyer. Looks like he has a huge hammer. Interesting. Talked about the cataclysmic impact that warriors have on the battlefield, but nothing's embodies is better than the hammer wielding destroyer. Armed with a variety of skills centered around charging into the heat of the fray, their hammer attacks are so catastrophically crushing that destroyers can bend gravity to their will, slowing, launching, pushing, and pulling enemies. Whatever it takes to utterly, beyond a shadow of a doubt, destroy them. The destroyer will join the Berserker Paladin Gunlancer Fourth. Okay, perfect. Trial Guardian Raids. Trial Guardian Raids will add a new weekly activity for players looking for a challenge. Each week they can attempt to defeat three Trial Guardians. Every Guardian has their own acquired item level to enter. And each week one Guardian will rotate out, replaced by a different foe. Different from a normal Guardian Raid, Trial Guardian Raids will apply Scale of Harmony so that your character's item level will be adjusted appropriately to that of the enemy. Every... okay. Additionally, players cannot use the Battle Workshop in the Raid legion, region. However, the increased challenge comes with increased rewards. Rewards for each challenge guardian can be obtained once per roster per week and offer more diverse rewards than normal guardian raids. That's nice. Go to the check daily and weekly content, participation in the menu, UI updates, improve party finder and party invites, update loot, dismantling, convenience features with the market slash auction house, some fun features. And being able to randomly summon favorite mounts and new hairstyles. Interesting. That'd be fun. Being able to summon one of your random fun uh, favorite mounts. Instead of having to choose one. New Guardian Raid, Descaluda. Guardians are powerful entities that can tip the scales towards good or evil. A new Guardian will arrive, arise must be vanquished before they usher in an age of darkness. Upon arrival, Descaluda will be one of the most powerful guardians in Arkesia. Requiring a high item level to encounter 1415. As with the other guardian raids, you can attempt to vanquish them alone with a party or match with three other heroes. Legion raid, Valton. Normal and hard. Vaulton will introduce the first Legion Raid into the Western version of Lost Ark Legion Raids. Legion Raids are difficult team-based activities that require teamwork to understand and enact the strategy necessary to counter each Legion Commander's unique characteristics, abilities, and mechanics. As Legion Raids are challenging and take time, there are gates or checkpoints that will save players' progress, progress as they advance through the raid. Valton is an 8 player legion raid and introduces a swath of new mechanics. Players will need to be item level 14 15 and will share more information on legion raids when we approach the May update. Once again, this is not all of the content that we will release in April and May. We will keep you updated if anything changes as we look toward look through the, both of these updates and work to ensure you know what is on the roadmap for upcoming months. We're excited to watch you progress through your journeys in Arcasia. Both in vertical content and horizontally, as you explore all Lost Ark has to offer. We'll continue to evaluate data and listen to player feedback and share summer roadmap content after April and May are wrapped up. Oh, this is sick. So... These new classes, they both seem 
very strong very good um I'd probably say the destroyer is probably gonna be more played than the glavier just because it seems like you know it's just a warrior class they seem to uh be very popular and this very it's, it seems like it might be one of the strongest warrior classes. I also think that maybe a lot of people will probably play this just when it's new. Uh, I can't, I can't read this and see that as it a, a large amount of people are going to be swapping their mains for this. You know, it just doesn't seem like that crazy of a class. South Vern, this is going to be great for getting past thirteen forty. Uh, takes a lot of mats past thirteen forty. So hopefully, the main story quests from here give a lot of mats. Um, new Guardian Raid. This will be fun. You know, it's not, it's not that exciting. You know, it's just a new Guardian. I'd say the most exciting thing in here is the Legion Raid. This is going to be the first Legion raid, and from what I've seen in the Korean game, these Legion raids look amazing and a great fun, uh, and the mechanics are absolutely amazing to see. So that was me going over the April and May roadmap, and... If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like. If you find yourself coming back to the channel, drop a subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.